Welcome, I'm Joe Dales, one of the co-founders of RH Accelerator, and this is one of our news uh, videos, so we're really excited today. We've got some wonderful guests from the Grand River Ag Society, and today we're getting together to announce a new strategic relationship between RHA and GRASS. So welcome Garth Green, uh, president of the board of GRASS. Uh, can you tell the people a little bit about Grand River the history and the, uh, the, the organization? Uh, uh, yes, uh, Grand River Egg Society uh, has, has evolved over the, it's, it moved to Alora from, uh, from Elmira uh, in 2003. Uh, in 2004, we actually opened uh, the, the new slot facility here. Uh, initially, in, in, in El it was the Woolwich Egg Society originally, and uh, like I s and with when OLG kind of took over and wanted to have uh, slots, uh, Alora became one of the uh, locations, and so uh, it came. Uh, uh, we were fortunate enough, I guess, to uh, uh, to be so, uh, selected by not only OLG but also by the Elmira Group as well, and so we've evolved from there. So it's been here for, I guess, we've been open now for fifteen, almost sixteen years. And uh, we've evolved from there. So, uh, and it's been a really positive thing within the community as, as well. Uh, I know that there were some dis distractors because of the uh, the slot facility, but uh, Grand River, uh, we've we've kind of grown. Uh, initially, we started out more as a, a race uh, 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 for Santa, uh, Santa Barbara Racing kind of uh, facility, but we've all obviously grown from that. And in the last uh, year. Started last year, we actually have added a, a new structure, uh, and Katie will be able to talk about this. Katie is our director of hospitality, but uh, we've got a uh, another uh, facility that we're opening up, uh, hopefully this month, uh, and uh, we're going to be able to uh, host a lot of other kinds of events. And we're trying to diversify our, our obviously our business uh, because Stanford Racing is is. Um, it's 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 a difficult business, and and uh, but we've we've done pretty well at it. And uh, as I mentioned, the the slot facility has actually grown, and the original building is now totally uh, occupied by Elements, which is Great Canadian Gaming, taken over from OLG. So it's it's uh, it's been a positive kind of influence, not only in grass but on the community as well. Yeah, it's a it's a beautiful facility. We're really impressed with it, and I love going up there and, and seeing. So, Katie Giddy, can you tell us a little bit about some of the exciting uh, activities, and uh, you know, just uh, fill us in a little bit on some of the exciting um, the new building and some of the new things you're working on. Yeah, thanks, Joe. So, uh, as Garth mentioned, a lot of growth and evolution at the Grand River Agriculture Society, and being the home to this, this beautiful site of 57 acres, um, a wealth of opportunity. As our manager of facilities says, when you've got 27 acres of grass in one spot, you should do something really good with it. And we've certainly started to look at the site in a, a different way. So diversifying from having, as uh, Garth said, Elements uh, Casino as our tenant in the main building and then the track for Grand River Racing. We actually took the opportunity to put up an event center. So the Grand Way Event Center provides an incredible uh, facility that doesn't really exist in our, our community of Center Wellington right now. And we're certainly looking forward to entertaining a, a real wide range of, uh, of different events inside the space. So um, beyond your classic weddings and parties and special events that would be uh, an incredible pleasure for us to host as many not-for-profits to help us fulfill our mandate of giving back and uh, definitely got some agriculture associations on our uh, list for um, events, conferences, uh, trade shows for, for 2021 and beyond. That's wonderful. Um, I want to talk next with uh, Deborah Whale. And Grand River Ag Society, you know, it's a community-based organization that's been very active philanthropically. Um, and now you're looking at launching some new impact 
investment uh, uh, ideas that you know RHA is going to be com- you know supporting you on. So Deb, do you want to just give us a little bit of a background on some of the activities you've done and and what your vision is going forward with some of your uh, impact investing? For sure, um, the Grand River Agricultural Society for a long time has had a, a philanthropic emphasis, uh, particularly in agriculture and the environment. We started off um, small, keeping a lot of our investments and donations um, in local community initiatives, in agricultural events, and in some environmental good work, such as river cleanups and fish habitats, that kind of thing. Then we got a bit bigger and started looking at um, expanding some of our investments into larger organizations. So we've put a fair bit of money into student recruitment at the Ontario Agricultural College, as an example. We've put money into Equine Guelph um, and into the Grand River Conservation Authority and and also some R&D requests as well. So now this is kind of a third phase for us, I think, and we'd like to participate in what we're all calling impact investing so that we can provide some meaningful funding to uh, local. Um, And when I say local, it's uh, basically Waterloo, Wellington, Perth, but Southwestern Ontario in particular, uh, into some innovative agriculture, food, um, environmental companies. And our goal, as is the goal of RHA, is to create some economic benefits, to support young founders, to create jobs, and uh, very importantly, to increase the awareness um, in general of the agriculture and environmental industries in our local communities. Yeah, and that's that's why we're so excited about working with uh, with this great organization. Um, we've had long term relationships with a lot of the board members and and love the facility up there. So so the plan this year is that RHA will help recruit um, some of these early stage uh, agriculture, food, and clean tech companies. Um, we'll do the due diligence. We'll get them uh, get them in front of the um the grass team and uh and then co-invest with with the grand river ag society uh and then support the founders and the companies for with the 12-month rha program and hopefully we'll help these companies survive and grow and thrive and create the economic development in those three counties that uh, that we're all so excited about so we're really pleased to be uh uh involved here and um also looking to have our regular uh, events and footprint at the wonderful grass facilities up in Laura. So this gives us uh, uh, a great regional coverage and um, connects up some dots with some wonderful people. So I think the ecosystem is really going to be successful here. Um, is there, uh, if they have questions, um, Katie, how can they get a hold of you and, uh, you know, tell us about the new Grand River website, and then, uh, and then I'll uh, finish off the, the discussion here. Yeah, so one of the easiest ways to, uh, to connect with us is obviously through our Grand River Ag Society website, and it is as simple as that, just grandriveragsociety.com. And through that, you can uh, definitely uh, connect with uh, ourselves and our incredible administrator uh, Dorothy as well so please uh, take some time to just navigate around that in our different uh, different websites you can find me Garth, Deb, whoever whoever you need to speak to but we would we'd love to take some questions and anybody who wants to know more about grass. Perfect and if there are companies that are interested or you know companies that are interested in uh, working with Grand River Ag Society and RH Accelerator they can go to the rhaccelerator.com website and submit in there and then we'll, uh, we'll follow up with them directly. So thanks all for today and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks very much. Bye. Thank you.